Take a look at these common animals. If you were to name these animals, you could use cat, dog, and frog if you lived in the United States. If you lived in Germany, you would use... And if you lived in Turkey, you would use... In order to avoid confusion when naming animals, plants, fungi, and all other organisms, a scientific name can be used. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Binomial Nomenclature. This system is called Binomial Nomenclature. These names are important because it allows people throughout the world to communicate effectively. Scientists use international rules to name organisms. These naming rules mean that every scientific name is unique. Scientific names are also designed to tell you something about the organism's relationship with other organisms. Let's dissect a scientific name using a common house cat. A house cat has the scientific name Felis domesticus. The first part describes the genus that a cat belongs to, Felix, and it is always capitalized. All species that are thought to be most closely related are placed together in a genus. The levels of classification moving from broadest to most specific are domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. The second part of a binomial nomenclature or scientific name is the species, and it is domesticus, and it is always lowercase. The species is unique to the organisms. Let's take a look at the scientific name for a dog. A dog, Canis lupus familiaris. Genus is Canis, and the species is lupus familiaris. How about this frog? There are over 5,000 types of frogs, so the scientific name tells you exactly which one you are talking about. The scientific name for this frog is Rana temporia. The genus is Rana, and temporia is the species. I hope that was helpful, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.